everyone, welcome back to Yum Paleo. Today I'm going to be making some prawn and bacon bites and we're going to do that on a kumara or sweet potato mash and we're going to have a side of asparagus. So what we're going to do, everything is here, so I've got three sweet potato that I've just peeled and we're going to chop up in just a second. I've got a bunch of asparagus, I've got some bacon and I've also got about 400 grams of prawns here with the tails on. So what I've got is I've got a pot of water boiling in the background. So that is for our sweet potato, which I'm going to chop up now and we're going to place in there. So going to chop these up. So just so they're not too big. I'm going to chop them up like this. Good. So, what we're going to do is, I've had that water boiling for about five to seven minutes now. So, it's boiling away and it's ready to place these in. So, what I'm going to do is take our board over and pop them into our pot. Now, do be careful because the pot... Um, it's quite hot, so when you place them in, just be careful that the water doesn't splash up at you. Good. All right. So we're going to leave that on about a medium heat, just so they boil away. We're going to come back over. We're going to get our prawn and our bacon ready. So how we're going to do it is we're going to fry it in the pan today. So what I've got here is... Um, prawns with the tails on and some bacon. So with the bacon what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop that up because obviously one piece is far too much for one prawn. So I'm going to cut it to about there. So you're getting about four little individual bits of bacon to one strip. Just so then they're all got bacon and we'll have enough. So I'll do a few just so you can see what I'm, how I'm putting them on the stick and everything and then we're going to come back and we're going to fry them. So what I've done here is I've got um, toothpicks which I'm going to put them on today. Now I have soaked them in a bit of water. Good, so grab a prawn and Wrap the bacon around it like so, and then place your toothpick straight down the middle of it. And I'm going to aim to put two to a stick. So again, bacon around the prawn. It is quite a fiddly wee process. And then stick on there like that and then there's some ready to go. So I'm going to do a few more and then what, once we've done all of these and they're all on sticks ready to go I will see you back here and we're going to cook them and we're going to cook them with some garlic just to give them a really nice flavour. So I'll see you back here shortly when we're about ready to pop them in the pan to cook. Okay, right, now that I've finished doing our prawns and bacon on our to our sticks, it's time to start frying them. So I'm just going to move the lid out the way for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring over some lemon, because I'm going to put some lemon in there as well. I'm going to add some, a little bit of olive oil in there. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to place some of these in here like so. You can start to hear the bacon. I'll just put a few in for now. I'll put about half in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle over some lemon juice on them. So this is half a lemon 
on this half and I'll do the other half with the others. And I'm also going to sprinkle in some garlic which I have chopped up. Now I chopped up two clovers. Add a wee bit more. I really want that garlic flavour to come through. Right, now remembering that you've got some sweet potato on in the background as well. And I've just checked mine and they're coming along nicely also. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave these to cook. Keep watching the bacon so when it goes nice and brown you rotate it over. Now do remember that there is a stick in the middle of them. So you don't want to go pulling them. Make sure the stick stays intact. Right, so we'll cook these for about probably three or four minutes before we turn them. Get that bacon nice and brown and then we're going to pop in the other ones. So I'll see you back here soon. Alright, so now what we're going to do now is now that our prawns and our bacon have pretty much cooked, I've put them over to one side of the pan, we're actually going to pop in our asparagus here to fry. Now I've just snapped the ends off them and they're all good to go. <coughs> so, let's drizzle a little bit of that on top. We're just going to let them, I'm going to turn the pan up a wee bit. Just for the asparagus. Now asparagus when you're frying it only takes maybe three minutes or so, only a few minutes. Doesn't take long at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take off the prawns because we don't want them to be overdone. So I'm just going to get them out of our pan. Good. So now that they're all cooked, I'm just going to toss the asparagus and the lemon and the garlic from the prawns. Right, and while they've got a couple more minutes left in there, I've already done our mash, so that's all ready to go. So we're going to start dishing up. Perfect. All right, so here we've got the mash. Good. I'm put a few asparagus on there. And we're also going to put some prawn bites as well. Awesome, so there you have it. Prawn and bacon bites with a side of asparagus and a coomera sweet potato mash. Hope you enjoy that and I'll see you again soon for another great recipe.